Great. Well, welcome, everyone. First of all, thank you very much for waiting in the uh, hot sun outside in line to come to our presentation. My name is JP. And I'm Peter. And we're here from the Google Developer Training Team. And we're excited to present our first Google certification, Associate Android Developer, a performance-based exam where you'll write real apps to show your skill. So the Google Developer Training Team, uh, just <laughs> meet all of you, um, is part of the developer relations team at Google. And at, uh, in this team, we, uh, our mission really is to educate and inspire developers. And we'd like to do that at scale. So what we'd like to do is help uh, developers, like yourselves, um, teach the best practices, the design patterns, the tips and tricks that you need to know to build high quality apps in the most efficient way possible. Now, JP and I and other parts of, uh, members of the training team that are also here today, um, we've been in this training world for a while. And one of the things about developer certifications is you know, whether you should do it or not. And it's kind of a tricky balance. Many certification programs kind of miss the mark of what they're intending to, to try to do. And so at the same time, we felt that the certification could really set the bar for you know, helping people uh, achieve some of their goals career-wise, job-wise, and um, really accomplish what they want to do. And that's what we're trying, trying to set up with this program here today that we're really excited about. So what we want to do today is give you a short view of the program, introduce you to Associate Android Developer, and really show you how to get started. We want to keep this short and sweet. We want to give you lots of time for questions and answers, and give you lots of time so you can get a good seat for the concert, too. <laughs> so imagine a developer. She has this amazing app, and she wants to change the world. Now, if you're already an entrepreneur or an independent app developer, you can do this today. And we even have training to help you. However, there's other situations, situations where it's not quite so easy to go from zero to hero where developers around the world look for and need resources to help them accomplish their dreams. So one of these situations, which is uh, familiar to probably many of us, is getting a job. Uh, maybe you or someone you know is looking for a job as an app developer. Maybe it's a first job, or maybe it's a new job or a new career. You have ideas. You have skills. You have a network. But maybe you can't quite connect to employers to land that job. There's really a gap between skilled developers and those jobs will let them fulfill their dreams. And now as, as Peter and I started to look at this gap, um, and other members on the training team looked at this gap, we dis discovered that it was really, I'd say in a way, larger than we thought. Um, we saw it in developer education. We saw it in the job market. We saw it where skills uh, that employers were looking for and how people were training to get those jobs. And really, two questions arose. The first question, for employers, well, how do you show that somebody is qualified? How do you know that somebody can perform the tasks that are required of them? The second one, for individuals, how do you stand out for job interviews and get recognized, whether it's for a new job or a promotion? Now, separately, um, a lot of industry studies came out that showed that we had a uh, significant disadvantage here. For example, this report from Vision Mobile really pointed that out. And you know, we realized that we, the lack of this objective industry standard was really holding us back, and specifically in, uh, in different countries around the world. Now, we started thinking about this quite deeply. And I have to say, this is kind of something that kept us up at night. We really wanted to solve that for, for Google. Now, Generally, with the rise of these alternative credentialing methods, uh, like the ones you're probably familiar with, with uh, Udacity and General Assembly, uh, we realized that there was a real appetite for um, learning app development that would directly lead to jobs. And so over the last few years, we've done quite a bit to close this gap. And perhaps a lot of you are already familiar with some of our training, but I'll, I'll go into a little bit more detail on that as well. So for example, with Udacity, our online training partner, we built uh, 35 MOOC training courses, providing end-to-end -end paths for Android development, web development, and tech entrepreneurship. Um, we also built other courses around machine learning and cloud computing and so on. Now, 
over the last few years, these, the, the people enrolling in this have really dramatically increased, and it's still picking up a lot of steam. For example, uh, we now have one and a quarter million people enrolled in our Google courses on Udacity. And we have um, about 2,500 people enrolling in these courses every single day right now. So it's been a, been a really good platform for us to get the message out, right, to educate developers, which is our original mission. Now, we also realize that not everyone learns with the same you know, online and self-paced. And so we work together with General Assembly to build um, a complete 12-week Android immersive, the um, a sort of a full-time in-person course where you go on-site and spend 12 weeks really dedicated to that, whereas most of the online learning is sort of self-paced. And we just had our first um, people graduate from that, uh, the first cohort in New York, about 25 people, and the next one is graduating uh, very soon here in San Francisco. And there's going to be opening up uh, about 12 other locations uh, globally. So I wanted to take just a quick step back about so what we've done specifically to Android. Um, two years ago at I.O., we released the first Android Fundamentals or Developing Android Apps training course uh, with Udacity. And that's, that's sort of our flagship Android course. It's the, um, you know, we have almost 300,000 people enrolled in that course. I think it's 288,000 at the last count. And this is the course that's developed by Rado Meyer, Catherine Kwan, who is here in the audience, and uh, Dan Galpin. So a really great course. Um, but at that time, we were still building very, in, in a very ad hoc manner. So we were building uh, one course on HTML5 games, and another one on mobile web development, and another one on Android fundamentals. But you know, we were still, we need, we were, what we're lacking was that sort of well-lit path for developers through an entire curriculum that would lead directly to jobs. And so we decided to start building that. And last year at I.O., uh, Sundar announced that we launched the Android Nano degree. Um, and la later in the year, we uh, launched that in September, or relaunched that effectively in India uh, with local pricing, 1,000 scholarships, and um, you know, local e-commerce options for Indian students to take that as well. And of course, they could have taken that by itself uh, already. Now, late last year, we started seeing the first graduates from these nano degrees. Uh, it takes generally about six to 12 months for people to complete. Uh, we hosted a, a career summit in Mountain View for about the, the, the 50 top students. And what we're seeing there is like people are getting jobs. Uh, for example, in India, we have 16 nano degree students. And keep in mind that this is still kind of early days because it takes six to 12 months, and it's only been <laughs> 12 months. And uh, out of these six students, four of them were hired without even as much as an interview at Flipkart. So pretty, uh, pretty amazing stories. Some of these graduates have also been hired at Google. So a pretty high level of mastery and uh, just a great outcome. Um, we also launched last year the Android for Beginners course. Now, this is a fantastic course. Uh, all you need for that is a phone, a computer, where you can install Android Studio, and um, an internet connection. You can take that course and really take you from zero programming experience all the way to actually having apps running on your machine. Now, that's Catherine Kwan and Shania, who are here in the audience today somewhere. Raise your hand. Ah, there. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you. Uh, so we, we launched that as well last year. So then fast forward to next year, this year, sorry. Um, we realized there was still a big gap. Generally, we say that for Android Fundamentals and the Android Nano degree, you need about two years of programming experience. Um, Android for Beginners takes you part of the way there, but it's not quite complete. And so we've been working really hard, in fact, Catherine and Shanae have been working really hard on bridging that gap in intermediate Android development skills. And so uh, stay tuned for some really exciting announcements in that space, because we're building out effectively an entire end-to-end -end path for uh, developers on Android so that we no longer have to tell people, you know, if you want to go and learn about, uh, you want to take the Android Nano degree, go off and go to these 16 different places to learn the prerequisites. So we'll have an end-to-end, -end, uh, zero-to-hero path through all of that. So uh, in summary, 
we've come a long way to closing that gap that JP described. I mean, we're trying to accelerate that gap even further. And so today, we're taking one step closer to uh, supercharging how employers and employees can uh, effectively work together in the most efficient way. Today, we're excited to announce Google Developer Certification, a new program to help close the gap for employers and job seekers, to help set common standards, and to help developers worldwide. Now, we're very excited about this program. Uh, we think it's going to help developers stand out, be recognized, get a job, help build higher quality apps, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the details, what it contains, and how you can benefit. Now, if you're an individual, if you've got a great idea, if you're looking for a job, or maybe you represent a company or an agency looking for talent, we think we've got something for you. Now, I want to talk a little bit about how this is not your, let's say, an ordinary developer certification, or expel a few myths that you might think about when you think of developer certification. So one of the big things here is that it's based on job task analysis. And JP will tell you more about that in a little bit. Um, the big difference with, let's say, a typical exam is that this is performance-based exam. We're, we're trying to take certification into 2016, do it in a bit of a, a googly way. And basically, you will need to build apps and show your skills to pass these exams. It's very uh, performance-based. Um, so it's not a, you know, I don't know, a 200 question um, trick question multiple choice exam. It's not really a knowledge test. It's really testing actual app development. So we, we thought about this. Um, and I think as Peter was alluding to, we thought about the traditional concept of technical certification for developers. Now, in other industries, there may be performance-based exams that work well. But specifically, when we're looking at technical certification for apps, app developers, it was, it was something that we really needed to think about. Um, so we thought, first, we need to make it job focus, as Peter alluded to. When we say job focus, we mean that every certification that we develop is actually mapped to a job that's in the industry as determined and vetted by a job task analysis. Peter also mentioned performance-based exams. So we take an exam um, that we will, will develop. Let's just take one. In that, you'll be asked to build, extend, add functionality to an existing app, or correct, uh, determine and correct defects in the code. So we feel that this is similar to the task that a developer would do in the real world for an entry-level developer. Um, and as opposed to a knowledge-based exam, it's going to evaluate the ability to perform tasks. Can you do the tasks required in the job, not recall facts or concepts? Probably one of the things that's probably most important for this uh, program is how we're going to be using rubrics. Now, typically, rubrics, you just kind of say, OK, I know I have to know these things. And OK, if I know these things, I'll do well. Well, there is some aspect of that, of course, for us with grading. The rubrics will be transparent, published. You'll have them as soon as you sign up for an exam. You'll know what you need to do in order to pass that exam. Uh, but it also re reduce ambiguity. It's going to make it very clear, very empirical and objective how you will earn the certification. So if you're prepared, if you can build an app and you know these rubrics, you should be in good shape to pass and earn one of these certifications. We like to say here is there's no tricks, no guile, just measurable performance. Exactly. So. Yeah, so JP showed you a little bit about our overall certification program, and we're really excited about that. And today, we're launching the first in this series, um, Associate Android Developer. Now, this certification maps to what you would need to know as an entry-level uh, Android developer. Now, uh, next slide. Um, the exams for this, they will open up in July. And so today, it's all about getting prepared. Now, a lot of you in this audience, you're probably Android developers, and you may already be ready to, uh, to pass this exam. But um, if you're not, and you need to brush up on some of the skills, we have a, a great training page. You can um, find out all about our certification and training offerings that we have to help you get ready. Um, so you can find our new certification page that we just launched earlier today. Uh, that has more details on it. You can find there what these rubrics are that we talked about, what the program is all about. And today, you can sign up, literally just put your email in so we can notify you as soon as the exams open up. Um, so the key takeaway here is you, know, you can start your journey towards certification. Now, 
how do you prepare? So we're coming back to that landscape of Android training that we, we developed over the last few years. Uh, really, what this is about is more on the advanced side, on the intermediate to advanced side, which is um, based on, if we zoom into, let's say, that advanced Udacity uh, nano degree, then you can take uh, Android Fundamentals, which is really the course um, to, to dive into that maps to the um, task analysis. Here can we get the next slide? <laughs> right. Right. Um, so Android Fundamentals maps closest to the job task analysis that we performed. And so by taking that course, you can really um, get ready to get the exam. Now, Taking that course also means you have to do all the practical parts of that, right? It's not just watching the video, but it's actually um, really getting your hands dirty, building the projects that come with that, and, and uh, really mastering that, that material. So that's, in essence, what uh, I think the best place to start with um, to get started today. So that's great. Thank you, Peter. Um, and that's how you go about preparing for this exam. And you can do that, again, starting today. Uh, so what about July? Let's fast forward a little bit. When July comes, what you'll do is you'll complete your sign-up process. You'll be presented with some projects. Basically, the projects will represent what you need to know in order to pass uh, the exam and then earn the certification. Uh, when you get these projects, you'll work on them independently, submit them. They'll be graded, and ding, <laughs> you'll be certified. Then you can take your mark, show recruiters, show employers, Show your friends, you know, I don't know, hand it in front of your dog and let them see it, you know, something like that. Show your mark so you can proudly show everyone what you've earned. Um, and not only that, we looked at grading too. The thing that is, you know, sometimes in certifications is it becomes just something earned to just get, just get through. We really wanted this to be part of your learning path towards mastery as well. So when we think about grading for this, it's, it's not pass or fail, it's really you get three chances to pass. Um, you can retake the exam. And there's a combination of machine and human grading. So when, with the human grading, Android experts will give you feedback. So again, it's not just about earning the certification. It's also about learning as you're doing and building these projects. And well, that's it. That's what we have to talk about today. Uh, thank you for attending the talk. We hope you're excited about Google Developer Certification. To find out more, go to our site, read about the program, and sign up. Uh, you can also get in touch with us. We're going to be here throughout I.O., and you can tweet at us. Thanks again very much.